Hello, I'm your host Luke, and today I'll be talking about the ancient African empire known as the Xing Empire. In the ancient kingdoms of West Africa, which occupied the coastal forest region from Cameroon to Guinea, had trading relationships with other African nations dating back to prehistoric times. However, by 1500 BC, these ancient kingdoms not only traded along the Ivory Coast, but with the Phoenicians and other peoples. They expanded their trade to the Americas, where the evidence for an ancient African presence is overwhelming. The kingdoms which came to be known by Arabs and Europeans during the Middle Ages were already well established when much of Western Europe was still in inhabited by Celtic tribes. By the 5th century BC, the Phoenicians were running commercial ships to several West African kingdoms, and during that period, iron had been in use for about 1,000 years, and terracotta art was being produced at a great level of craftsmanship. Stone was also being carved with naturalistic perfection, and later bronze was being used to make various tools and instruments, as well as beautifully naturalistic works of art. The ancient West African coastal and interior kingdoms occupied an area that is now covered with dense vegetation, but may have been cleared about three to 4,000 years ago. And this includes the regions from the coast of West Africa to the south, all the way inland to the Sahara. A number of large kingdoms and empires existed in that area. According to Blizzard's communications, one of the oldest empires and civilizations on Earth existed just north of the coastal regions into what is today Mauritania. It was called the Xing Empire and was highly advanced. In fact, they were the first to use the red, black, and green African flag and to plant it throughout their territory all over Africa and the world. The Xing Empire existed about 15,000 years ago, and the only other civilizations that may have been in existence at that period were the Tassetti civilization of what became known as Nub Nubia Kush, and the mythical Atlanta civilization, which may have existed out in the Atlantic, off the coast of West Africa about 10 to 15,000 years ago. That leaves the question as to whether there was a relationship between the prehistoric Xing Empire of West Africa and the civilization of Atlantis, whether the Xing Empire was actually Atlantis, or whether Atlantis itself existed as part of the Xing Empire. The Xing Empire was rendered from an outlying study reaching a wide area from the Senegal Atlantic coast to Defer, Cameroon, Chad, and that it covered such a wide swath of land that it went from the Sahara Desert in West Africa to be as far the empire 15,000 years ago had been ruled by the god king Tiru Afrique. And this seeded civilizations around the world. These Africans migrated to the rest of the world. Lost at artifacts from around the world lead to a theory like this in, at the end of the day, since a lot of these ancient civilizations played out and had no written records, like the Olmecs or like the one we just covered, that would lead you to come up with some crazy theories, right? Anyways, this has been your host, Luke. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. I hope you have a great day.